Hi, it's Terry McCormick from the Star Morning Show. It is our 21st year doing Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week. And I am in Council Bluffs this afternoon with Mrs. I hope I pronounce this right, Suzanne Chudak, correct? Yes, yep. Okay, so you have a first grade class. Hi guys, I see that you're in class right now. Hi. Hi. Good to see you guys. So we are here because you have been chosen, um, Mrs. Sudak, as our teacher of the week. And you teach first grade at College View Elementary. And I understand this is an international baccalaureate school, correct? Yes, it is. Tell us about that. Oh, in, international baccalaureate schools are all over the world, and we have uh, sub, uh, quite a few here in Council Bluffs, two elementary, two junior highs, and I think we're working on the high schools, um, and they're uh, focused on international mindedness, uh, teaching children international mindedness, um, op to be open minded and accepting and understand that if people are different it just means they're different they still have feelings and wishes and hopes just like us that's great and children can really use that especially in the world today so that is amazing so i received a letter from amanda jackson and her daughter grace lynn is in your first grade class so i'm going to read that to you right now she says this year has been crazy but Mrs. Shudak has been very supportive and positive during the new ways of learning and technology issues. She is an amazing teacher that really cares about her children. She has been there for my daughter during her hard days of missing mom. We are truly blessed to have her as our teacher. Oh, so how nice. Thank you. I want this. <laughs> So um, she mentioned technology in there and a lot of the craziness that has happened in this whole year with COVID and the pandemic. What has it been like for you? What has been your biggest challenge, uh, especially with first graders? Oh, um, well, just using the technology to tr uh, teach them when they're sitting at home and looking at a computer. Um, and all that comes with it. I was on a steep learning curve as far as technology goes. Um, I'm older, so <laughs> it what, a lot of it was new. I use technology obviously in my regular teaching day, but this was well beyond any skills I had previously. So I took on a lot of new learning very quickly in order to try to teach the kiddos at home as well as the kids here in the classroom um, because we were on a hybrid schedule where half the kids were at home online uh, learning with me and the other half were in the classroom. So that presented its own <laughs> um, difficulties, yeah. Um, are you still doing the hybrid or are you all back to class? We are all back to class, thank Yay! God. <laughs> and that was after Christmas break, we came back all of us full time. And it's been much smoother since then. Yeah. Great. Yes, I think it's great for the kiddos to be back in the school for sure. So, um, along with all of the challenges, I found with the teachers that I've talked to this year, sometimes there's little perks you didn't see coming to some of the changes. Is there anything that's kind of improved or expanded um, your teaching with the pandemic and some of the new ways that you've had to teach? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Uh, I think for myself, I'm more computer literate and I know the first graders are because they've had to learn how to navigate Google Meet and um, Google Classroom and all of those things. So yeah, I think the learning in as far as technology goes has been huge on, on both ends. Right. And I know when um, students are younger, they really learn quickly. So it's really good that they have that exposure early to that. So I always say that our teachers are our superheroes, Mrs. Shudak, because you are, and I think parents, especially this year more than ever, have realized how much you do for their children, have come to rely on you. So I wanted to ask you if you could have any superpower. Uh, what would it be? <laughs> oh my, that's a good one. Let me think. Any superpower? I think I would be able to have a magic wand and all I would have to do is do the magic and there would be pe peace everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a great superpower to have. 
<laughs> so my last question to you, and the most important one, I think, is what do you love most about teaching? <laughs> Definitely the kids, yes. Aww. If you don't love the kids, you shouldn't be in this job because I'm telling you, they can be a handful, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also just oh uh, they're just uh full of life and full of joy and they make my my day i don't think after i retire i will miss the children at the holidays especially because every holiday is so special when you're around kids just that excitement and joy so yeah it's the kids <laughs> I have just 20 this year, which is amazing. I'm usually up around 26, 28, but we have some virtual kiddos too this year. So. How long have you been teaching? Ah, this is my 34th year. Yes. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. You can tell you really love it. And yep. I'm sure you've probably met students along the way as they've gotten older. Have you taught any of your former students' children? Um, I have not, but I have um, seen former students as adults, and and they have their own children. But no, I have not had that happen yet. I've had kids call me grandma. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad thing after all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a couple of gifts for you, Mrs. Shudak, because you are so amazing. And I'm sure that you love pizza. We all love pizza, right? So yeah, we love pizza. <laughs> we love pizza. are going to give you a gift certificate so you can order some pizza for yourself. And okay. Cooking. And then when you feel like it's safe to go back out dining again, a magnesium of the pavilion is going to give you a gift certificate to a local restaurant so you can go out and enjoy a meal and just really relax and enjoy yourself. So we want to thank them. And of course, my favorite thing to present is this, our Star 104.5 Teacher Teacher with some Regal Awards. Put on your desk, whatever you like, and just a symbol of how much you're loved, Mrs. Shudak, and all you do in your 34 years of teaching. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, so thank you. Class, you can turn the computer. Everybody, let's put your hands together for your amazing teacher. Yay! <laughs> I love you, Mr. Shuda. <laughs> thank you very much, Terry. You're very welcome, and thank you for all you do for the children, Mrs. Congratulations. Thank you very much, and you're welcome. Bye-bye.